Hi, everybody. Hey. Good morning. It's Monday. It is. Here we are. Yes. Get ready for the uh, Boris and Robin show. Here, let me give you a little more room there. Oh, How's thank that? you. Oh, yeah. yeah. I can feel the extra yeah. space coming yeah, over The rule here. of thirds. We need yeah. to. <laughs> All right. So, uh, anyway, everybody, uh, welcome to Morning Meat Sandwich. Good morning, Boris. Uh, today on the show, uh, I'm curious what you guys would do. I, I had the weirdest, strangest experience this morning. So, I wake up. Yeah. Wake up, go into the bathroom, and uh, I'm like brushing my teeth, getting ready for uh, getting ready for work. And I feel like something's staring at me. Okay. So I look over, and on my son's toothbrush, right on the bristles, is a stink bug. Really? Okay. Yeah. And it's that time of year. Stink bugs are uh, you know getting in the house. Sure. Now, my son has a electric toothbrush, but it's like a battery powered one, so it's disposable. Mm. But not really, like once a month, I think, he's supposed, to, supposed to, to switch it up. Switch it up and so they're not like super cheap. And he just had a new one, so it's sitting right there. So the question ran through my mind. So obviously I got the stink bug and flushed it. Right. Do I give him a new toothbrush? <laughs> do I throw it away? <laughs> or do I just like, that's eh, all right. That's a good question. Yeah, that's my question this morning. Yeah. I don't, I, I don't what know. What would you do? Like, if you had a stink bug on your toothbrush, would you just pick it up and throw it away? You know, if it's a fancy electric toothbrush, then I don't really know. Uh, I have, like, a normal non, non fancy toothbrush. Would you, throw, would you toss it? Uh, well, so fancy one? I have a couple of backup toothbrushes. Okay. Uh, so I would probably toss it. You probably would toss it? Yeah. Okay. I'm, I'm, I'm gathering information to see if I did the right yeah. thing this morning. Do you know if the stink bug released its stink uh, on, <laughs> on the toothbrush? I didn't smell the stink. Okay. <laughs> I grabbed them pretty quick and. And flush them, but we're going to ask the audience this morning. I'll tell you guys what I wound up doing this morning, but uh, we'll find out uh, what you would do. It's one of those dilemmas, especially early in the morning on a Monday, like right. half asleep. Like I don't want to deal with this. I'm like, I'm like, what do I do now? Do I do I just pretend this didn't happen? Yeah. All right. <laughs> so uh, give us your uh, answers. You can uh, write in the uh, the comment section there. Uh, also, this morning, uh, March Madness is right around the corner. Yeah, it is. And we've got our own uh, version of March Madness we're going to be doing here on the Force and Robin Show. We call it Hudson Valley Madness. Uh, which seems like every day here in the Hudson Valley. But yes. uh, it's our own little version, so we'll talk about that on the air this morning. Uh, Robin's going to have our stoner report. And I believe this week uh, we've got our uh, 745 contest for uh, Dead & Company tickets. Ooh. So we've decided to play... Dead or Alive. Dead or Alive. It's always fun. We talk about aging celebrities, and you have to tell us whether they're dead or alive. <laughs> it's usually yeah. sad because yeah. most people don't know if they're actually even right. dead or alive. Totally not morbid <laughs> at all. Yeah, so we'll, we'll do that this morning. Uh, also, uh, for our Listener of the Day contest, we're going to throw in an extra prize. We've got signed copies of Paul Jr.'s uh, book. Oh, yeah. Because uh, it's Orange County Choppers Week, uh, American Chopper Week here on the Boris and Robin Show. we got the OCC guys coming in on Wednesday, because the premiere of the new show on the Discovery Channel is Thursday night. Yeah. And then Paul Jr. himself will be in on Friday to uh, take your questions about the show. So it's going to be, be a big week. So uh, we'll get to all of that. You have a nice weekend? Yeah, yeah, pretty good. Went bowling. I won. Went bowl you won you won? Yeah. What uh, what was your bowling score? What's your uh, uh 146. And you won. Yes. <laughs> okay. Well, yeah. that's that's the thing. Like I feel like most people aren't very good at bowling. And I'm not a good bowler. Um, but I'm slightly better than most of my friends. Mm. So I can cuz I I used to bowl in a league when I was a little kid. So I still have like some of those like um what do you call? It? <laughs> what do you moves? Mean? Like me like motion memory. You know what I mean? Like I still I still I'm what? intrigued. I'm intrigued by this. <laughs> you know, like it's it's still kind of like in there from when I was, you know, I was probably like ten years old in the league or whatever I did for a few years. So yeah, muscle memory is what I'm talking about. Like I still kind of know how to bowl just a little bit from that. So yeah, I'm, I'm just a slightly a better enough where I can be better than. Here's my the key. To, here's the key to winning bowling. Yeah, just trying to win. Right. Because most of the people you bowl with, they could care less that they're they're, they're they're drinking and hanging out. Like yeah. one forty. That's what I'll I will get if I try. If okay. I try. But, you know, most of the time people are just like, yeah, whatever. Okay, anyway, what's going on? Oh, my turn again? Okay, yeah, whatever. Yeah, what? So, congratulations. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. <laughs> we'll uh, we'll uh, see you on the air in a little bit. We're going to uh, have our show. In the, now i got to make sure I know it's at exact 6 o'clock, right? So it's not 5 minutes from now. It's 15 minutes. <laughs> yeah, the last time you... Uh, yes. Yeah, it was... We all know. <laughs> all right. Anyway, thanks, everybody. We'll uh, see you in a little bit.